Hello everyone. So today is the day before the paper one exam. So if you're doing AQA A level maths, Edexcel A level maths, or OCR A level maths, uh, today is the day before the paper one pure maths exam that you'll be doing tomorrow. So what should what should you be doing today in the day before or the night before your exam tomorrow? So the first thing to to really mention is don't cram in too much work today. So don't be doing like hundreds of past papers and hundreds of revision notes because you're going to burn yourself out. Um, you're not going to cram in all the information in one day I mean it's, it's not going to be possible so um, don't be cramming too much in because to be honest with you you should have done the vast vast majority of your revision by now and if you haven't you're probably not going to do very well tomorrow um, you had a lot of time to prepare you had the Easter holidays you've had the uh, the May holidays um, so you have had time to prepare and if you've not prepared very well you probably won't do very well or as well as you should be doing tomorrow. So don't be cramming too much in because you're not going to learn everything. Uh, you're not going to learn the entire syllabus in one day and you're not going to be, you know, answering, you know, 10 past papers in one day. I mean, it's not going to be possible. So you can't cram too much in. You'll be tired tomorrow and you won't do very well tomorrow if you do do that. And if you're not prepared, well, you're not going to do well at all tomorrow anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So you just make sure you aren't cramming too much work in, provided that you have done your revision properly. You don't want to burn out for tomorrow. Uh, the second point is review, uh, review all of your notes. So just have a little scan through all your notes, particularly the topics that you feel uncomfortable with. Look at those topics. Don't shy away from those topics. Spend a bit of time looking at those topics that you're not very comfortable with. So let's say that um, you're not very comfortable with, um, let's say, integration by parts. Then do, you know, have a look at your notes, practice maybe another question, find a question online and just um, just try and feel a little bit more comfortable with that topic. So do review the topics that you don't feel too comfortable with because there's every chance that that may come up in tomorrow's exam. So the third point is to review your past papers. So hopefully you've practiced lots of past papers. It's really, really important that you are practicing past papers or that you have practiced your past papers um, because you are sitting exams, proper exam questions. So look at where you dropped your marks. Where did you drop those marks? And do you understand why you didn't get the marks? Do you understand why you didn't understand what you needed to understand? Um, so make sure you do review your past papers, review your notes, your summary notes, and make sure you understand why you drop marks and where you are dropping marks. That will keep um, it will keep in your mind very fresh what you struggle with um, and what you struggle with in your papers. So so you'll remember not to make those mistakes again if they do come up, if questions like that come up in tomorrow's exam. Um, and also do ask your teacher or, or maybe like an online tutor that you may have for clarification on something you don't understand. So do make sure you are asking for help. Uh, now, not all, now. sometimes, obviously, teachers and tutors may not get back to you in time. Um, so you can ask me for help. So I've already done a video on this where I describe how you can ask for help. And I put a star by there because I'm just going to, in a couple of slides time, I'm going to go through, again, the payment structure that I do for um that I do for this. So yeah, you do, please do ask for help um, on doctordifferentiation at gmail.com. Um, and there are some prices to, to watch out for, but I'll go through those again in a minute, uh, like I did in one of my previous videos. And then question, uh, sorry, uh, part five, uh, do get a good night's sleep, go to bed early, don't, don't stay up late cramming in more revision. Um, you know, do get a good night's sleep because you don't want to be tired tomorrow. It doesn't matter how much revision you've done. If you wake up tomorrow morning, uh, with like four hours sleep you're not going to do very well you're going to be tired you may have a headache you may not feel very well so it's really important you do get a good night's sleep uh, even if you've not done a lot of revision um, being tired and doing no and you know cramming in revision you'll probably get a worse mark than someone who um, didn't do a lot of revision but gets a good night's sleep and feels energized tomorrow so do make sure you get a good rest it's very very important um, and th those are the five key points I really wanted to mention today. But going back to this point here about asking me for help. So remember, I mentioned this before. Um, I can help with everything in maths, in, in A-level maths. So pure mechanics, statistics. Uh, if you do want to ask me a quick question, it is £2. I do charge £2. Um, again, my PayPal, just to remind you of my PayPal. So PayPal is this. So C O N S T. A N four six nine nine at 
hotmail dot com. That is my PayPal. Um, and please do, if you do want to ask a question, please do feel free. But for an answer, you just have to pay a quick answer. You just have to pay two pounds. If you want me to do a full homework question or one like full pass paper question, it's between five to twenty pounds, depending on like how long the question is and how many parts the question is. Uh, for a full homework sheet or a full pass paper, if you want me to do an actual full pass paper just for you or a full homework sheet for you, again, it's between fifty and one hundred and fifty, depending on how long and how many questions there are. G generally speaking. It's about you know, I've probably charged between five to ten pounds per question, generally speaking, depending on the on the actual question. But obviously different questions have different lengths. So just be aware of that. Um, so, again, any other questions, drop it in the comments and drop an email to. Um, so not not that email there. Drop an email to this email, please. Doctor differentiation at gmail dot com to ask your questions. But my PayPal is, is different from that. Uh, it's this this one here. Um, so again, any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot. See you soon.